Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress creator. I make WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I want to share five Elementor custom CSS editor tips. Custom CSS is a part of Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. So here are the five smart and cool things about Elementor Pro's custom CSS editor. It's the one that you find under advanced and custom CSS. You find it under advanced tab of every widget, section and column. So the first feature is autofill. So whenever you type a code, Whenever you type something into the custom CSS editor, it proactively suggests that particular variable. As you can see, as I typed S, it suggests all the various things which are available to type within the editor. So I'll just select it. And next, when I type F, it will show me all the things that I can, I can type. As I already typed a couple of things into this code, it will also give me some proactive suggestions saying you can use all these things. So if I want to just target this class again, I don't have to type it. I just need to click it and it's autofill just like that. So I can simply use a dot and just like that, I got that class. And the same thing is applicable to properties as well. So if you're changing any property, so let's say I change this 100% and if I try to type important, even that will be auto filled. It gives me a suggestion that this variable or this keyword is already used in the code. I can simply click to auto fill. So auto fill is the first coolest feature about Elementor Pro's custom CSS editor. The second cool thing about Elementor Pro's custom CSS editor are prefixes. It suggests prefixes. So some of the properties in CSS actually need prefixes to work properly. So if you have something like transform scale or something, you can see it's scaled here. So if I scale it 2.2, you can see that in action or if I scale it 1.2, you see that in action. Now, some of the properties such as transform, they need prefixes to work properly. So I can say web get transform and you can see it already suggests that. And once you fill in the prefix and the value is essentially the same even for the prefixed versions. So if I type web get transform, which is to make sure that this code works properly on all WebKit browsers such as Safari. You need to add these prefixes just to make sure that this code works consistently on all browsers. Now when I hover over this, it will show me that there are other prefixes such as WebKit transform available and I should probably use them as well. So these proactive suggestions are really cool. So once I type in WebKit transform, it also asks me to type moz transform and it already gives me the proactive suggestion i can simply type the prefix so all the prefixes that you need for the properties are already available within elementor pros custom css editor so this is again another cool thing about this custom css editor but cool thing about custom css editor is to minimize code snippets so once you target an element and write the code within such as this one you can simply minimize the code just by clicking on the start of the code snippet. And you can see that you can click this to maximize that again. This is to get a better picture of all the various selectors and various things that you've used across the code. So just click on the starting of the code snippet and it minimizes the snippet. You can either click this to maximize or click this arrow button to maximize the code snippet. Either way you can do it. So this is a neat way to get a bird's eye view of your entire working code. Another cool thing in Elementor Pro's custom CSS editor. Fourth cool thing about this editor is when you type a property and if you fill in a wrong value for the property. So let's say if I have color property and I type 100 pixels, it can be any property and the value can be anything. If by chance you type a property value wrong, it will also give you a suggestion saying expected this value but but found other value so it will also give you a warning saying that this property might not work because it's expecting a value of color so that's again really neat the fifth cool thing is that when you use couple of properties that really don't go well together such as width and border you can see that there's a warning saying using width with border can make sometimes 
elements larger than you expect. So it's intelligently scanning my code and telling me that the code I wrote may not yield expected results or it may screw up few things on my website. This is again another intelligent proactive feature built right into custom CSS editor of Elementor. There's another bonus tip that I'm throwing in for you and this is not really a custom CSS editor feature but when you're using HTML widget, HTML works based on tags as you all know. So if I type script and if I try to type the ending brace, it will autofill the ending tag for me. Even this is really smart in Elementor's HTML widget. Again, the same thing happens with CSS as well. I try to type my ending tag and it autofills the ending tag for me. So that's really cool. So these are the things that you get within the editor itself. Of course, there are many more properties and few other techniques of its own. But these are the things that I found out and I thought I'd share with you. What I, What's your take on this? What do you think about custom CSS in Elementor Pro? If you don't have Elementor Pro, get it from the link in the description. It's really amazing. You can do crazy stuff with it. As you can see, I'm actually styling WP Forms widget using custom CSS of Elementor. So it's crazy powerful. Get it if you don't have it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.